Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be in France on 13th to 14th of July during which he will be the guest of honor at the Bastille Day Parade. It is the anniversary of storming of the Bastille in 1789 during the French Revolution. This year both countries are also celebrating 25 years of strategic partnership. The parade will witness 269 members from tri services contingent of indian armed forces marching alongside with their french counterparts the rafale fighter jets of indian air force will also form part of the fly past during the parade now various media reports indicates that pm modi's visit will be aimed at some of the critical defense deal to be inked between india and france this includes the code development of high thrust engine for AMCA Mark II. The reports from Hindustan Times states that the French government has given the green signal to aerospace major Safran to jointly design, develop, test and manufacture and finally certify an engine that will power India's TBF and AMCA. DRDO chief Dr. Samir V. Kamath paid a special visit to Safran engine factory and R&D center near Paris on the sidelines of the recently concluded Paris Air Show 2023. The engine proposal has been under discussion under defense minister and NSA led strategic dialogue with France. The French offer includes a completely new engine, new materials, new architecture, stealth compliance with full supply chains and ancillary manufacturing based in India. Snecma has offered engine with stealth characteristics which will feature very low IR signature and near zero RCS turbine blades. The offer also includes Safran setting up a center of excellence in gas turbine technology in India with full design and metallurgical precision software tools. As per the reports from Times of India, the government of India is likely to sign a deal for the purchase of naval version of Rafale fighter jets or Rafale M from France, for which the final decision is likely in the Defence Acquisition Council meeting before PM Narendra Modi leaves for France next week. The multi-billion dollar deal for 24 to 30 Rafale marine jets is likely to be announced during the two-day visit. The Navy has expressed its preference for the French Rafale over FA-18 Super Hornet. The fighter jet is likely to be planned via government-to-government deal instead of open tender route to fast-track the procurement process. The other critical defense collaboration which could possibly be on agenda is three additional Calvary class submarine fitted with the DRDO's AIP and French involvement via technology transfer to indigenously build six nuclear powered attack submarines or SSN at the secretive ship building center in Visakhapatnam. The French naval group has already signed a memorandum of understanding with MDL in January 2023 to certify DRDO's AIP design for integration into Calvary class submarines. On 22nd June 2023, LNT and DRDO signed a contract for realization of two AIP system modules for Calvary class submarines of the Indian Navy. DRDO has transferred the technology of its AIP to LNT. These modules constitute the core of the full cell based AIP system developed by NMRL in collaboration with LNT. The French offer to India for SSN is similar to a deal it had offered to Brazil this includes developing first submarine with french assistance the offer also includes the overhauled design based on the french barracuda class submarine and will feature pump jet propulsion along with a 190 megawatt pressurized water reactor which is currently being developed by bark or bhava atomic research center in consultation with russian state owned companies the pump jet propulsion technology can also help india's ssbn program this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector